You're listening to Screen Printers Radio, an educational series of programs for screen printers. You'll find programs covering the basic to advanced techniques for improving the efficiency, effectiveness, and economy of your screen printing operations. Get a cup of coffee, pull up a chair, and enjoy the show. Our goal is to allow you to find solutions to the many variables present in the screen printing technologies. We've been broadcasting to the screen printing community worldwide since February 1983 in order to help bring control to the screen printing technologies. We depend on your donations to keep Screen Printers Radio online. Please consider making a donation at the website to show your appreciation for our service. I'm Bill Hood, your host, and I can be reached at BillHoodConsulting.com online. Success is the opposite of failure, yet there are many gray areas between success and failure. Many people find themselves somewhere between the two, stuck on the slope of the mountainous journey, attempting to reach the pinnacle of success. We find ourselves constantly trying to achieve or or accomplish an aim or or an objective. Being successful means the achievement of desired visions and planned goals. For some, success can be a certain social status that brings prosperity and fame as an outcome of our endeavors. However, the only person that can answer the question of how to define success on a personal level is you, the individual. Every individual thinks differently about being successful or prosperous in life and is defining success uniquely, so no one definition is suitable for all. Thankfully, finding success in the screen printing technologies can be more simple than trying to define the meaning of life on a personal level. Screen printing is a set of skills that work together to produce a finished product, the print. Once those skills are mastered, one can feel successful when a print meets the expectations of both the printer and the client. Thanks to the screen printing patent of Anton Alma Marie Veracel in 1902, which was the first to mention silk bolting cloth and a squeegee in his patent in 1902, we're now able to produce 300 line halftones with an unlimited number of brilliant and opaque colors on a variety of substrates. The fact that we could reproduce the printed word or graphic repeatedly onto substrates was extraordinary when screen printing as we know it today was first introduced by Varicella. But even this is relatively trivial compared to the ability to produce flexible batteries or solar wafer chips using the screen printing process and more today. Still, the success of the screen printing process depends greatly on the ability to control the mirrored variables that are present in each step of the process. Yet, a single speck of dust can destroy a day's work. That single speck of dust can create a pinhole that may go unnoticed by the printer, yet not meet the expectations of the client, who will deem the work unacceptable. A few have acquired the knowledge and expertise to eliminate or reduce the number of variables in the process. The majority remains isolated and ignorant about technologies that could fundamentally alter their relative efficiency, productivity, and economic status. Those who acquire direct and deliberate control over the mirrored variables existent within the screen printing technologies will be the winners in what is rapidly becoming the greatest driver of the ability to succeed in this industry. It's not about which is the best ink or which machine has the best return on investment. It's not about social media marketing or creating a brand that your success hinges on. Your success hinges on one thing only, your ability to meet the client's expectations of quality. Once you gain control over the mirrored variables of the screen printing process, of which there are well over 600 known, you'll be able to predetermine how to meet those expectations. Unless you know with absolute certainty how to eliminate that speck of dust, create the correct ink deposit with a single stroke of the squeegee, how to determine the proper emulsion over mesh ratio for each stencil, how to determine the perfect exposure based on stencil thickness, and each of the many more questions that arise every minute during the day, will you be able to meet those expectations and find success in the screen printing technologies? Each seemingly discrete fact is like a single tile in an intellectual mosaic that reveals its beauty as you step back and admire the bigger picture. When you're indeed able to know what it's like to control all the variables and finally say, ah, now I understand, will you be able to find success? Screen printing operations do not prosper or even survive for very long if they can't meet the expectations of the client. Your job is to grow, develop, innovate, and yes, educate yourself. This concludes today's podcast. Thanks for listening. 
please feel free to contact me at my website at billhoodconsulting.com for more information on how you can improve your production, increase your revenue, and improve your operation. We can help you become more efficient, effective, and economically viable. You've been listening to Screen Printers Radio. Visit our website at ScreenPrintersRadio.com online where you can find our archive of past episodes. Leave your comments and submit your request for the subject of a future episode. We'd love to hear from you. We depend on your donations to keep Screen Printers Radio online. Please consider making a donation at the website to show your appreciation for our service. Thank you. I'm Bill Hood. May all your impressions be great.